Hello and one and all and welcome back to yet another movie review and this time I shall be reviewing the newest Pixar film and thank goodness it's back in the cinema after uh, uh, three films on streaming service since uh, Soul that being Lightyear which is directed by uh, Angus McLean if I've said his name correctly or she whoever I don't know um, and you have Chris Evans who plays Buzz Lightyear not Tim Allen and you also have Taco Carl Wheat do you again hope I've pronounced his name correctly so much spelling for me I know uh, James Brolin you also have uh, Pete Bisson if I again pronounce his name right who plays Sot the fuck the cat and you all so um have uh, michael gacino composing the score really good score in the movie and basically what this is basically uh in 1995 andy uh saw this movie and it's his favorite movie of all time and so that's how in Toy Story he got Buzz Lightyear himself so uh, this film going in um, I uh, was very interested in this film because um, I don't normally review animated films on this channel this is mostly adult content and superhero content but Toy Story is something that means a lot to me uh, when I was a kid, because I've watched the original Toy Story a lot, because it was my, it was one of my all-time favorites, and it's my favorite animated film of all time, and it still is. And all the other films I've enjoyed, even though Toy Story Four I don't think is top tier as the OG trilogy, even though I do really enjoy Toy Toy Story Four quite a bit. Just that trilogy alone, from Toy Story to Toy Story Three, I love. So going in, I was also pretty concerned as well, um, considering if we really needed a spin-off Lightyear film, but was also interested nonetheless, um, especially how that uh, Chris Evans is going to play Buzz Lightyear. I thought, hmm, okay, good choice. But I'm just going to say this right now, guys, I had a really, 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 really good time with Lightyear. And honestly, um, the reviews, I don't normally like talking about other reviews on this channel, but it's pretty 50-50 and I'm on the positive side. I'm literally trying my best to be on the positive side of most movies now and again. But Lightyear for me was so much fun and Chris Evans, who we all know is Captain America, him playing Lightyear in this film, Buzz Lightyear, was just so good. Um, you know, he truly started to sound like Buzz Lightyear. Chris Evans did a really, really great job. I loved seeing uh, Buzz Lightyear once again back on the big screen. Also, the animation is pretty spectacular. Like on the um, Space Ranger um, suits, just look great you know the whole movie itself looks great to look at and and I'm just gonna say with a doubt the best character in the movie is Socks the cat he was amazing you know every joke he had in this movie every scene he was in stole the whole movie Socks was such a great character like, why wasn't he companioned with Buzz Lightyear yeah, as a Space Ranger toy in um, Toy Story? Why didn't uh, they uh, include that for Andy's toy? But hey, you know. Also, Taco Carl we see again, hope I've pronounced his name right, uh, who plays Moo Morrison, who's into pens. Ha <laughs> ha, click, click. Um, although I don't think it's his best role, I think he's pretty good here. 
And do I think this is um, a perfect movie? No, it does have, I do have uh, minor issues. They're not big issues, they're just minor here and there. They're just nitpicks. You know, there's some a couple of spoilers are pretty spoilery and I don't want to uh, ruin the experience just in case you haven't seen Lightyear yet. Um, but there are also a couple of characters that I thought Mm, okay, which didn't go the way I hoped for, or just didn't really um, bother me all that much. But then again, that's just a nitpick, guys. Just, you know, this film made me feel like I wanted to watch uh, the Star Command TV show again, which I also watched the um, Star Command movie, which has... Uh, Tim Allen voicing Buzz Lightyear. You know, I would recommend that. It's a pretty good movie. But overall, guys, Lightyear I had such a great time with. It's easy one of the better Pixar films I've seen in a while. Because I wasn't a fan of um, Turning Red or Luke. Personally, I know those films are loved and I respect that, but... They just weren't really for me. Turning Word was just weird. And uh, Luca didn't really connect me all that much. Onward I liked. Onward was pretty good. And I really loved um, Soul. Because, you know, Pete Doctor, who doesn't love him? Lightyear is definitely one of the better Pixar films since Soul. And I definitely had a really great time with Lightyear. You know, Chris Evans as Buzz Lightyear, so good, along with everybody else involved in this movie. Just, I really had a great time with, as far as letter grade scales. Um, it could go down, it could go up, I don't know. But as where it stands on my letter grade scale, I'm going to give Lightyear an A- minus to Infinity and beyond and there you go guys that was my review on lightyear so comment down below let me know below what did you think of lightyear also comment down below let me know below what is your favorite toy story movie which is your personal favorite toy story film or where do you rank the films in general and you can include the lightyear films as well this included and star command let me know below in the comments and let's have a great discussion down there and if you're new to my channel, I'm a movie reviewer from the UK who likes to do movie reviews and older stuff, especially on special occasions when I feel like it and when something new related to it comes out. But as always, once again, if you're new, please feel free to leave a comment, like, subscribe, share this video and notify that bell before you leave. And as always, guys, until my next video, I shall see you then and peace.